Thank you very much. Let me thank the chairman and let me thank Ali and all of the board members and all of the employees of the food, uh, I'm sorry to say food bank, the furniture bank, um, for making this day uh, possible. It is a very important day. Look, uh, in Houston, um, I woke up thinking it was going to be 40 degrees pretty much all day. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, the sun is bright. Um, but it is a bright day for the city of Houston based on what we're doing today. Uh, and when you start talking about turning a house into a home, uh, the Furniture Bank is doing just that. When you talk about uh, getting a lot of these children off the floor and onto a mattress, the Furniture Bank is doing all of that. And for many of us who are here, uh, in our own lifetimes, we have experienced sleeping on the floor. Um, I know I can certainly uh, testify to that. And let me tell you, it's a lot better sleeping on a mattress than sleeping on the floor. Uh, and then, you know, you can have the apartment, you can have the house. But if you don't have the furniture, you're still out of luck. Uh, and I certainly can remember uh, being in Cambridge. Uh, had an apartment but didn't have the furniture, like most of us. Uh, and end up going to Goodwill and purchasing the mattress, uh, but didn't have the transportation to get it there. And so a roommate and I literally purchased the mattress from Goodwill. It was what we could afford. And we literally carried the mattress. Um, we were carrying it to the apartment until two, uh, a couple of police officers showed up and asked us, well, where are you going with this furniture? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, you know, two black guys with a mattress walking down the street. Uh, that kind of raised some flags. Uh, but, the moment, but the point is, once we start sleeping on that mattress, it made a, a heck of a difference when it comes to trying to learn. And it's difficult to have kids going to school and to reach their full potential when they are sleeping on the floor. And some of these kids and families are sleeping literally outside. So I want to thank uh, the Furniture Bank. And then I want to thank the Furniture Bank when we had the flood in April of last year. And a lot of people found themselves homeless or without furniture. Uh, the Furniture Bank stepped up in a major, major way. So Ali, uh, if for no other reason, I came to thank you uh, for being a vital partner uh, to the city of Houston when people needed people to step up and organizations and the Friendship Bank did just that. Now I am here with Council Member Robert Gallegos. Robert, is this your district? Yes, sir. In District I. And with Council Member at Large David Robinson. If you will both stand and come with me, because uh, stand with me. This is coming from the entire city of Houston. I'm not going to read everything. Mr. Chairman, why don't you stand on the island? Mr. Chairman has already talked about the fact that it was established in 1992 and, and where it is today. And we all recognize that the Houston Furniture Bank has received more than a quarter million pieces of furniture as donations, making it possible to serve more than 21,000 families and approximately 80,000 individuals. And we know what it is trying to do to ensure that more than 50,000 children have slept in beds rather than on a cold, hard floor and have been able to share their meals comfortably at a dining table. And then whereas Eastern Furniture Bank keep, uh, helps keep thousands of mattresses from being added to landfills by recycling them, I want to thank you for doing that on behalf of the city of Houston. And then uh, Ali Muhammad, founder of the Houston Furniture Bank and now the executive director, has served the Houston area community for nearly 25 years. Thank you, Ali, for what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Ali is one of those unsung heroes. And uh, a lot of us may be in the paper, on the press all the time, uh, but you have been doing it in a very quiet and impactful way, and we want to say thank you. And so therefore, whereas on April 6, 2017, the Houston Furniture Bank will celebrate its grand opening at its new facility, the city of Houston commends and congratulates all those involved in the Houston Furniture Bank for their commitment to impacting the lives of many families and nonprofits. Uh, children and individuals to the bank and extends best wishes for a successful grand opening. Therefore, all of us, city council members as well as the mayor, hereby proclaim April 6, 2017 as Houston Furniture Bank Day in Houston, Texas. And that's why the sun is shining. Give it up to them. Thank you so very, very much. You can do better than that. Thank them for what they have done.